Hey guys, it's Aoife from Fred Weasley Diet Laughing and I'm here with my belated spring book haul. So I have eventually gotten around to actually filming this. Woohoo! So these are just all the different books I have bought in the last three months or so. So first I'm going to show you all the physical copies of the books I've bought and then I'm also going to go through some of the uh, books I bought on for my Kindle as well. So the first book here that I have, these are, aren't in any particular order by the way, I just have them piled up here beside me so I'm just grabbing them off the top. So the first book I have here is The Air by Kira Cass, which is the fourth instalment of the Selection Trilogies, which is more of a spin-off to the um, Selection Trilogies. And now I have all the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven, so I'm really looking forward to reading this because it's supposed to be really good. And I just turned on another light there in case you're wondering why uh, I suddenly got really, really bright. <laughs> um, I didn't realise how dark it was. And then the next is Throwing a Glass by Sarah J Moss, which I just finished today and I absolutely love. I can see why there's so much hype about this. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill. Scarlet, the second, um, the second book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer. Looking for Alaska by John Green, which is um, one of the only John Green books I've yet to read, including Will Grayson, Will Grayson. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And most people have read this one first. Um, my first one was Paper Towns, so I'm really looking forward to reading this as well because I've heard really good things about it. All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Thieves Magic by Trudy Canavan. The first two books in the Poldark series, Ross Poldark and Demelza, both by Winston Gray. The Sister's Fate by Jessica Spotswood, which I'm kind of annoyed about is a hardcover. Um, I just bought it on Amazon, so I didn't know what kind of book I was getting. And my other two books are paperback, so this one is just so different. It's kind of annoying, but ah, there are worse things in life to be worried about. And then Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, another one that I'm really looking forward to reading because I've heard I've heard mixed reviews about it on it about it. So I'm looking forward to being able to make my own opinion. And then on to the ones I bought for my Kindle. And Amazon's daily deals are my kryptonite because I can't help myself when I see a good book for only one pound and I buy them. And then I end up buying like ten and I'm like, oh no. I spent too much money because then everything has to be transferred into euro then so it's not one pound it might be two euro or 150 or you know something else depending on the rates so yeah it's not a not a good idea um so the first one i have is sugar by deirdre reardon hall um which is about an overweight girl and her d it's i think her coming to terms with her weight which it sounds really really good and i've already seen some really good reviews on it so i'm really 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 looking forward to reading this one and then Dream A Little Dream by Giovanna Fletcher, which I pre-ordered and I should be getting this week. Um, but I did buy it back in May. So I'm actually, I'm looking forward to that one as well because I always love, uh, G always writes some great uh, little nice little love stories. And she also has a YouTube channel. Um, so I'll link that below if anyone's interested in just finding some uh, cute little channels to watch. Um, her husband is Tom Fletcher from the... Uh, mcfly slash mcbusted if anyone's interested and then her sister-in-law is carrie Howe fletcher who wrote this book so there you go they are a artistic family creative family and then what next the legend of the blue eyes by b, b. Kristen mcmichael um so i got that one the glass blower by petra dust benning lucy in the sky by page two and i bought on ebook because i couldn't find it in the library and then Game of Scones by Samantha Tong, which with a name like that, how can you not buy it? Because it's just amazing. Um, the Rose Girls by Victoria Connolly. And finally, Crow Hollow by Michael Wallace. Um, so lots of good books to read. I don't know when I'll get around to reading any of them at this stage. Because I just have so much and it's only like the first week of June. And I've already gotten so many, many books, which are all... I'll have to do just a single June book haul because I've just bought so many already and I don't know how many more I'll get because I have no self-control. So let me know if you've read any of the books that I have hauled and uh, if what books you've gotten this month as well and then if you have the self-same control issues that I do uh, so I know that I'm not on my own. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!